Hello, in this tutorial I want to introduce you to the vector. Vector is a standard container, it is inside the standard template library STL and this is the only one uh, STL container I show you uh, before we go into the object oriented programming and after the object oriented programming when you will understand the basic of how this work and what is behind it, what is the member functions and so on, we uh, go through the others. Alright, we need one header file called vector. Vector is a header file for vector. Okay, to define a vector we should use the uh, name vector and inside angular brackets because it is a, a template as in, as in the name it is a template library so it is a template we press the type because the compiler has to know uh, what uh, size it should uh, reserve for the vector and the name uh, for example west alright then and uh, make a while loop, while true, like that ok, and uh, we need a te yeah, temporary variable, an int, int tmp for example and write something to the user write some, some integer ok, that, but this is get sum Thing. All right, and now we will uh, read it to the variable tmp. Now, if tmp equal to minus one, this will be the exit sign. We break from the loop, and um, else we just want to add to the array. We use add to the vector, which is similar to an array, we use uh, back, push and line back. And what do we want to push back? So we want to push back a temp, a tmp variable which we read here from the user. And actually that's it. After the loop, write to the user how many elements uh, did he or she wrote inside. So you wrote vector size this gets the size uh, element so. these are and make a new line like that and now with the for loop for int i equals zero i less than vec dot size so how many elements there are there is no a and i plus plus like that and just simple write the vec i uh, and make a space after them and make a new line right here okay this is just such simple, this shows the most useful member functions and overloaded operators for the vector class. Ok, the pushback we use that to insert elements into the vector. It pushed the end of the vector. Alright, the vec.size, so the vector.size member function will give how many elements there are. and. Uh, there are the overloaded uh, array subscripting operator so we could use it uh, like a simple array okay but the vector has several advantages for example a vector can hold uh, elements actually with any number of element uh, the only limit is the size of the memory your memory uh, so it will grow automatically it is a similar advantage advantage that uh, the string has so it will grow 
and there are functions like at which will mm, which will check the so it will check uh, that are you inside the bones so in this case the this will not check that are you in the bones so you can refer to elements that out of the vector which will give a segmentation error all right and uh, let's get started first of all compile our program so g plus plus first dot oh first dot cpp and then run our program and as you can see it waits for an integer so just type some random numbers in it you can like that okay plus minus one to break from the loop and uh, there is uh, uh, 15 elements and uh, as you can see the the 23 is the last one the 5 is the first one all right and that's for it because i don't want to uh, go into too much details there is the website i suggest you the first time i think the c++ which can be found here as you can see it is the URL for that and you can find the, the member functions all of them so if you go into that as always you will uh, find a example program for that like here and uh, the parameters this don't have any the return value like that so you will find anything that you ever wanted to uh, the vector class okay these are a little longer <coughs> explanation what is inside what is why is it good to uh, use the vector instead of an array it has several advantages and uh, thank you for watching and have a great day